Hey, creative friends, this is Rebecca, and I just wanted to come and um, show you my latest project. I'm trying to make a little house. Uh, I've done this already out of cardboard, and I'll show you that later. And then now I'm trying to do it out of plywood um, and do it a little bit uh, smaller. Um, just this was a different project I started. I, I thought I had a good NC file that I had created in in Inkscape, and it was a huge um, flower pattern and this is just one part of it but for whatever reason it, it just stayed and burned this over and over and over and over again so I, I uh, abandoned that project and came back to these little houses because uh, this is an NC file that I drew myself in Inkscape and so it, it created the NC file correctly with that laser engraver um, extension in Inkscape but anyway I have just done this on plywood and um, ended up doing four passes at 80% laser and 80 MS. And so I'm going to go see if I can put this together and then I'll show you some final images. Um, thanks for watching. And just real quick, if you're interested, this was the uh, plywood that I am still using. Um, I did purchase it on Amazon, so I appreciate it. If, if you have any interest at all, um, use the Amazon affiliate link, uh, and I'll put it below. Thanks. All of these little pieces are coming out great, except for this last, this last one. And so you can tell up here on the top left, I'm going to go take an X-Acto knife to that just so I don't get too uh, jagged of an edge. And then I just kind of lightly, you can see some of the edges are, um, are are rough. And so I just do some light sanding on those edges. All right, and so here are my finished projects. It's just so fun to be able to do quick prototypes out of cardboard. And, um, you know, cardboard's very forgiving, so it's, it's really cool. This was not my design. I just got an image for a, a tree. Actually, it was just the basic tree shape, and I copied it and then just put a slit in it. And I tried doing this in plywood, but my um, slit wasn't big enough, and so the two pieces didn't go together. Um, but I did print another one in cardboard, and since cardboard is forgiving, I, I could make those slits just a little bit bigger and then put it together. Um, but again, this was just an image that I found uh, on Google, I think, for a tree. And, and then this was the one that I just drew in Inkscape. And I have designed it, you know, mainly to do in cardboard. And then that way, this one piece that represents the roof, uh, you can just fold it over. Um, but uh, it, it, uh, it's just so much fun to try to design something and then um, put it together. Now, this design... I just kind of eyeballed these tabs. As you can see, they're not perfect. So I still have uh, some design work to do. And it did not stay together without glue. So I've just used some super glue to hold it together. Um, and so this was my first cut, was just uh, out of some cardboard. But then you can take the same pattern and make it smaller. Um, again, you can cut it out of cardboard, and then this roof, you just fold it. You can score one side and then fold it really easily. Uh, this, I just did it out of plywood, as you saw, and um, it, it works pretty good. But my roof piece, I had to cut it. I just ended up scoring it over and over and over with a X-Acto knife, and I ended up cutting that roof piece so that I could uh, glue that on. Um, but you can make this, you know, any size. I love the little small one here. Um, and I may come back and paint them, or, or you can engrave a design on them once you have your pieces laid out. Um, all kinds of possibilities. So since I drew this one myself in Inkscape, I'll go ahead and share it. If you have any interest at all, um, then check the details below, and I will have a link to where you can go find this file. I will try to uh, figure out a way just to save the NC file, if you'd like that, and then maybe also as an SVG um, so that you can play around with it and add whatever you want to it. Um, but thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.